The next one is I call the Holy Church of the Gaslighter. I see this a lot with um, religious gas, gaslighters. By the way, none of the next few slides means anything about religion in itself. I have no comment about religion or spirituality, nothing negative. But the Holy Church of the Gaslighter, the Holy Synagogue, the Holy Mosque of the Gaslighter, is um, these are gaslighters who use religion as just a part of their narrative inculcation system. They're often highly manipulative and make false claims about their religious background, their spiritual background, their understanding of religion. Some claim to be imbued um, by the Holy Spirit, that God has imbued them to be a spokesman. Some of the more grandiose um, uh, gaslighters will believe that the uh, they have a direct line to God, that God talks to them in their dreams, or they hear God um, uh, or get messages from God. And they believe because of being imbued with you know, the Holy Spirit, they are omniscient and all-knowing because God runs through them. They also uh, might believe that they are saved and forgiven from their past deeds, which is convenient because it's a get out of, um, it's a get out of jail card, that because of God and their connection that their sins of the past um, have been washed away and been forgiven, which is uh, quite convenient um, if you're going to gaslight someone and try to distance yourself from your nefarious uh, activities of the past. It is important that these type of gaslighters adopt this 100% altruistic and selfless persona so that their gaslit holy, holier than now um, image becomes a viable explanation to why they are to be listened to, why their partner should submit to them. Gaslighter who uses religion to their benefit uh, might even claim they are God's rule keeper. And this is, this is where they take the religion and their interpretation of the Bible or a scripture or a biblical religious set of rules and spin their own interpretation and then require um, co complete compliance and allegiance to their interpretation, which they manipulatively craft into the actual words of God. So if they are speaking about what God wants and the gaslit victim doesn't identify that this is the gaslit, the gaslighter but identifies it as the, the religion and, and the God that they believe in, then they may fall prey to the rules and feel accountable to such. We see this a lot in religions that have a lot of fire and brimstone ideology, where there's, um, or where the gaslighter takes um, religious beliefs that, that are accepting and loving and, and, and transmutes them into um, rules that are more controlling rigid and filled with dogma, filled with rules, filled with punishments to the people that break the rules, who are referred as sinners and who are going to hell. And, and this is part of the shock collar phenomenon. If, um, if that boundary, if you go past that boundary, uh, which are the, the religious rules that have been inculcated, you are going to have to feel some form of consequence. And the idea that you're sinning or you're a bad person or you're going to go to hell is part of the shock experience. Um, they also um, are inculcated to believe that um, God is generous, loving, and forgiving to believers and the believers of the religion that the, uh, the gaslighter created, but also angry and punishing to people that don't believe in the words of God. Um, and again, it's a shock collar phenomenon. And meanwhile, all the time, the gaslighter openly does not practice what he preaches and has excuses for that or, or does that behind the scenes. Elmer McGantry is an all-American boy. He's interested in money, sex, and religion.
Who is this, uh, this Elmer Gantry? And what do you really know about him? His background, his reputation. And what does he want? Money, my job, you, what? Bill. In 1917, Mr. Gantry was expelled from a theological seminary in Kansas for seducing a Miss Lula Baines, the deacon's daughter, in the church where he had that day delivered a Christmas sermon. I'd like to tear those holy wings off you, make a real woman out of you. I'd show you what heaven's like. No golden stairways or harp music or silvery clouds. Just ecstasy, coming and going. Sin, sin, sin. You're all sinners. You're all doomed to perdition. What do you think will get you into God's own glorious heaven? This ace of spades? Your bank book? Or this pledge to be a good Christian? What I wanted to demonstrate in that very old movie uh, with Burt Lancaster, how gaslighting and the, the holy church of the gaslighter, the, the gaslighter, whether he is the actual rabbi, the priest, the, the, the head of a mosque, um, the, um, a religious person who is gaslighting a whole congregation, or, or if it, he is the uh, gaslighter of just one person that they prey upon the, uh, the victim's inherent core shame, um, a belief that they are naturally bad and sin-based, and that the only way that they can break free from this sin person that they are is to give in to the reality um, that the rules that the gaslighter has implanted. If, if the gaslight victim is told that if you turn over your will to the gaslighter and submission is required, and that your sinning and can be forgiven and that you will receive something more than you could ever imagine and you inculcate that to the gaslight victim um, then that gaslighter who's really nothing more than a con man is elevated to even a higher um, degree of love and respect in addition, if the, um, if the gaslighter feigning to be the, um, a leader or a guide or a spokesperson uh, for a religious belief um, inculcates paranoia and, um, and gets the gaslit victim believe that outsiders who oppose this belief are bad people, he creates an even more powerful shock collar experience. You get um, the gaslighter inculcates the victim to believe that these are the beliefs. We are going to, we're good people. God loves us. We're not going to go to hell. Everyone else is. And they're going to lie to you and creates a paranoia, blocks people, including their family, from access to you. He has created the perfect wall that keeps you entrapped in his gaslighting horror. I'm going to be, um, there, there is a great.